Hi there, my name is Devin Knight, and I'm excited to announce a new course that we have on prompt engineering with Copilot. This course is really designed to give you the skills needed to work with generative AI tools. Now, we'll be focusing in on that within the context of Microsoft's Copilot, but do know that a lot of the things that we're going to discuss in this course can be applied to other generative AI tools, like ChatGPT, for example. So, but we are going to be doing all of our demonstrations with inside of Microsoft Copilot, and guess what? A lot of the things that we're going to be doing, you can actually do for free, meaning you can use the free version of Copilot for a lot of the things that we're going to be discussing in this course. So, to give you a little bit of a peek at what we're going to be discussing, we're going to be really diving through some different categories of types of prompts that you might use. One's for content creation, one thing, one's for learning and development, others for brainstorming, uh, things like decision making and uh, as well as problem solving. Those are really important ones. Uh, research and summarization, as well as some other miscellaneous fun prompts that we're going to be looking at. I also have a few tips and tricks for you. But really, we're going to kind of start things off with giving you some guidance because there is so much around AI tools right now. And we're going to be really doing this within the context of Microsoft, like I said. So we're going to start off with kind of understanding the difference between the different co-pilots that are out there. Which ones do you have to pay for? Should you pay for them? What benefit do you get from those versus the free ones? And then we'll kind of dive into all of those different examples. So we're excited to have you for this course. We're going to learn lots about different prompt writing that you can do. And we'll see you in this prompt engineering with Copilot course. Thanks a lot.